everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January wrap-up in February TBR. I cannot believe it's already February. January flew by so fast for me. I feel like the new year was just like yesterday. And it's already February, so oh my gosh. So in the month of January, I managed to read only two books, but I did really enjoy both of them. Um, both of them were just under five stars for me, but I love them both, like I said. So I'm just going to get right into it. So the first book I read in the month of January was one I had started reading in December, but just finished, well, actually, like, two weeks ago maybe and that book is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. So this is a pretty well known book here on booktube. You either love it or you don't like it at all. For me I absolutely loved it. I gave it a four out of five stars. It's personally one of my favorite books I think I've ever read. I definitely plan on continuing on with the series as well as checking out the TV show. Um, if you guys do not know what Outlander is about, it follows our main character Claire Randall and she was a uh, World War II nurse uh, in England. So she has just come back from the war. This is 1945. And uh, she goes on a second honeymoon with her husband, Frank. So while, and they go to Scotland. And while in Scotland, she is thrust back in time to 1743 Scotland. And there she meets a young man named Jamie Fraser. And they form a relationship. And it's kind of about their relationship uh, throughout the course of a few months into a, maybe a year. It's really, really good. I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Please go check it out. It's so, so, so good. And I, you won't regret it. Believe me, you will not regret it. So the other book that I managed to read in January, it was the Peruse Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of January. That book was Ever the Hunted by Erin Summerhill. And I give this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. It is a fantasy book. And it follows our main character, Britta, and she, at the beginning of the book, has just lost her father. Her father was murdered, very unexpectedly, and she, one day, she is, um, after her father's death, she is trying to live by her, on her own, um, and fend for herself. So one day, she is caught poaching on the king's land, and she is arrested and put in prison, and or order for her to get out um, in exchange for her life, she uh, is sent on a mission to find her father's murder, and the only person she could think of was her former, father's former apprentice, who also happens to be the boy she once loved. And this book has a lot of plot twists, very unexpected details. It is absolutely fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it. it. If you guys are a fan of Throne of Glass, I think you would really enjoy this. I, it reminds me somewhat of Throne of Glass, in my opinion. But it's really, really good, and I think you guys will all enjoy it. So into the books that I plan on reading in the month of February. Obviously, this could change in many ways. So uh, I gave myself eight books. I not going to be too busy with school in February, but um, I'll probably have a couple things to do. So this is a pretty good size uh, TBR for me. So the first book I plan on reading in the month of February is a book that was sent to me for review by the author. So thank you so much to the author for sending me this book. That book is Revenants, The Odyssey Home by Scott Kaufman. This is a historical fiction novel. I Pretty sure it's a retelling of Homer's The Odyssey. I'm not positive off the top of my head, but that was kind of what it was um, sent to me as like when I was asked to review this book, and I obviously say yes. So yes, uh, if you guys have seen my uh, latest book haul, which I'll have linked down below, if you guys would like to check it out, I talk more about it there. Uh, I'm pretty excited to read this and see what my thoughts are. So the next two books are actually by the same author, so I'm going to just put them up both together. And that those books are Allegiant, as well as Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. So Allegiant is the third book in the Divergent trilogy, my, one of my favorite series of all time. So I, I have not read this book at all. For the, This will be my first time reading it, so don't spoil me for anything that happens. Um, I know there's something major at the end of the book that everybody seems to talk about. Um, so I'm trying not to spoil myself for it. So I definitely plan on reading this either this month or in the near future because I really want to read it. And the other book, of course, is Carve the Mark. This is uh, Veronica Roth's science fiction debut. This came out on January 17th, I believe. I know this is a pretty controversial book. I know there's some mixed things uh, about it that has to do with racism and everything, but I still do want to check it out because this is actually one of my most anticipated releases of this year. 
So I do want to check it out, see what my thoughts are, and uh, maybe I'll have a full discussion video on it talking about, uh, again, whatever is so controversial about this book. And the next book has been on my TBR for months, and you'll see this pattern with the next uh, three books after this, because all these have been on my TBR for a while. The next book is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. Now, I know the third book comes out in May, I believe, and I own the second book, so I really, really, really want to get to this book sometime soon. It's Beauty and the Beast retelling. I love Beauty and the Beast. It's one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, My one of my all-time favorite fairy tales, so definitely want to check it out. I love Sarah Jane Mass's writing. I read her Throne of Glass series back in, I believe, September. Absolutely loved it. Um, and I heard the series is almost as good as that, or even better, so that, it's saying it a lot for me. Uh, hopefully I'll like it, and then I can continue on with the second book and get ready for the third book, A Court of Wings and Bruin. I hope that's, I, that's the title off my top of my head, and see how it all comes together for me. And the next three books are also all by the same author, and they all kind of go together. So those three books are The Demigod Diaries, uh, The Demigod Files, and also The Lost Hero, all by Rick Riordan. So the Demigod Diaries and the Demigod Files are both kind of like novellas to the Percy Jackson series, which I read back in May and June of last year and absolutely loved. Um, and my cousin, who is like the biggest Percy Jackson fan I think I know, um, says I should read these before going into Heroes of Olympus because uh, there's some spoilers in these books that lead into the later books into Heroes of Olympus from what I have heard. So I definitely plan on reading these. And then Heroes of Olympus, like I said many times, it has been on my TBR for months now since I read Percy Jackson. It's a prequel, uh, sequel series, excuse me, to Percy Jackson uh, when the characters are a little bit older, close to my age, so that's even better. Um, so I hopefully I'll get to the, this month, if not soon, because I need to read it. So that's all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below so you guys can go check it out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, and I update those as much as I can. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you on Friday for another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!